In other news, the Chairman House Committee on Petroleum Downstream, Ikenga Gochenere, says speculation on the increase of petrol pump price was as a result of pressure from some marketers who have challenges to security in Forex for the importation of petroleum products. He said this at a press conference in Idiato North, local government area of Imo State. TV State's Prince Uba reports. Nigerians woke up recently with speculations of possible increment of petroleum products by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, which led to panic buying. But the chairman has committee on petroleum downstream. He can get Gochinyo and less the fears of Nigerians. Mr. Gochinyo, who said repair work in Portakot refinery has gone to an appreciable level, condemned the red on Dangote office by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over alleged forest transaction. I thought that the way the company was raided is unhealthy. It's also wrong contrary to our desire to attract foreign investment into the country. And coming at this particular time, I feel the motive is, is not just investigation. Maybe somebody just, because even before they got there, the news was all over the place that oh, they are caught up. It's a business place. Every country encourages their investors, especially indigenous ones. Here you have a company that have put in you know, billions of dollars, over 12, 13, 18 billion dollars in building such you know, a powerful edifice that is going to create hundreds, if not millions of direct and indirect job that is going to refine our product there by reducing pressure on uh, FS and again I get this product to the Nigerian people, locally refined and even export to neighboring African countries, thereby bringing in foreign investment. The federal lawmaker also commended the EFCC and the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs for their efforts to unravel the alert transfer of 44 billion naira meant for the federal government social investment program to private accounts by the last administration. The intention of this sovereign, this uh, investment program is to help the poorest of poor. Now people are crying all over different parts of the country and now here somebody kept that money, did not even pay them and then before you know it because there's a change of government, started moving it into private accounts and now we discover, they discovered it and then the woman that is involved and those who has benefited from this criminal uh, enterprise is not trying to either blackmail the EFCC or blackmail uh, better they do to try to play to diversionary uh, activities. This is not the issue. While noting that Nigerians are going through difficult times, he commended the federal government for the steps to push more palliatives to federal constituencies, which will be supervised by the lawmakers to ensure it gets to the indigents in their constituencies. Friends, Oba. <laughs>